welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today I have a very old friend here on my cask. It's a Dalwini Winter's Gold. It's 43% ABV and it's priced around 40 euros, dollars, pounds. And I had that already in 2015. And I wondered then if this whiskey would be a a one-off or it would be constantly there and well it is constantly there for seven years now and the specialty of this winter winter's gold is the time of the year in which they produce this whiskey this is done in the winter time when it's cold outside and the distillation results are better than normal mm, how does that work well uh, if the surrounding is very cold, then the power of the uh, condensers work better. Um, because you're not only, uh, you don't only have the cold water for cooling the alcoholic vapors from the distillation, but uh, you have the cold air as well, which cools it down. But uh, in the still house, which is normally not very well insulated. The heat doesn't build up because there's a cold surrounding and Dalwini lies on quite a high altitude at uh, 325 meters above sea level. And in winter you have snow up there on the pass and then the uh, this still house is quite cold. And that means if you start distilling, it takes quite a time until temperatures builds up and uh, you will have a better reflux on the, well, on the shape, on the neck of the pot still. And it takes a longer time until the alcohol vapors move over into the line arm. So you have a reflux and this reflux leads to a better distillation. On the other hand, uh, the Vapors move over to the line arm and at Dalwini you have warm tubs outside. So they cool uh, the alcoholic water vapors uh, in a coil which lies in a wooden vat, a wooden compartment uh, where water is flowing through. And this helps uh, or this condenses the, uh, the uh, vapors. And if you're cooling faster then then the whiskey has less contact to the copper of the coils and this leads to, well, more intense flavor. That's the story they tell. Uh, that's the physics behind that. I trust them in this uh, matter. And there had been some uh, bottlings of other distilleries which concentrate on the, odd, on the uh, uh, time of year where they produce the whiskey and winter is always uh, told to be the best time. There is a second bottle or more, a second and third bottle of Dalwini on the market. Uh, one is the uh, 15 year old and uh, this uh, winter's gold does not carry, carry an age statement and it's more expensive than the 15 year old here where I live in Central Europe. and. Uh, uh, the 15 year old costs 37 or 36.99 and this costs 39.90 so uh, this i think is due to uh, to the small amount of bottles they sell from this so economy of scales matter matters yeah here we go and of course there's the uh Distillers edition of the Darwini as well. Yeah, intense, full, friendly, quite massive, fruity accents, and very light mental note. Yeah, lightly cooling. Probably a little bit of honey. Yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm 
spicy. Yeah, a lot more intense than a 15 year old. A light peppery note. Yeah, it's not the, the alcohol. No, it's a peppery note. Probably due to this faster cooling, the less contact with the copper. Yeah, the aftertaste, probably a little bit of a whiny note. There is some oakiness in it, but not too much. But the, uh, there's no youthness. No, it's mature. So I think it's at least seven to eight years old. And if the normal uh, Dalwini uh, matures for 15 years, then this one might have 10 or even a little bit more. Yeah, smells very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a second Dalwini. More intense, more vibrant, not that old and mature, faster on the tongue, more power. <laughs> yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.